Edward the Martyr was king of the English from 975 until his death in 978. He was born in 962, the eldest son of King Edgar. Edward's mother remains unknown. She was either Ethelfled or Wolfrith, the first and second wives of Edgar, respectively. He had three siblings, Edith, Edmund and Ethelred. When Edward was 13, his father died. The succession was not clear as Edgar did not name Edward as his heir. Both Edward and Ethelred put forward claims to be king. Edward was chosen as king as the eldest and was crowned by his supporters. As he was still young, a number of people acted on Edward's behalf. Very few charters survive from Edward's reign, leaving much of his reign in obscurity. All of the surviving charters concern the heartland of Wessex. During his father's reign, dyes for coins were only cut at Winchester. During Edward's reign, he permitted dyes to be cut locally at York and at Lincoln. King Edward's reign was cut short on the 18th of March 978. While visiting Elfrith, his stepmother, and Ethelred, his half-brother at Corfe Castle, Edward was murdered. Some say he was murdered by Elfrith's servants, others say nobles in Ethelred's service. But most people agree that it was Elfrith who was behind the murder. Edward's body lay at Warham for a year before being disinterred. His body was taken to Shaftesbury Abbey and reburied in a lavish ceremony. In 1001, his relics were translated to a more prominent place within the Abbey Church at Shaftesbury. The ceremonies were led by the Bishop of Sherborne. Edward was seen as a saint and a martyr by this time, and today he is recognised as a saint in the Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Anglican Communion.